Hey, action figure collectors and customizers. It's Logan back here with another another haul video of action figures. So I'm going to be showing off some stuff that I actually got today really early in April. It's April 2nd. This is just a couple days after my March haul video. And within two days, I got more than I did in the entire first quarter of the year. And so this is all that I got today at a uh, flea market. And so I'm just going to show off what we got here. We're going to start off. This piece I actually grabbed for a friend. Uh, he said that he wanted one. And so there was a $10 price tag on this, but I got it for $5. Can't fit it on screen, but the Phantom Menace Nabu Starfighter. So, pretty cool that I got that for him. Right here. Now, this is a Transformers figure from the TV show Transformers Prime, one of the most recent ones. I don't really collect those at all. I kind of just wanted to get back to collecting my old movie ones from the first movie. But this character was too cool to pass up. Really loved him. The Preda King. This guy was just such a badass in the whole show. And this is smaller scale than the ones I know of. I didn't know they, they made a deluxe size one. Or maybe that's kind of Voyager size, but that's really cool. He's missing a few parts, but he doesn't look too bad when any robot robot or Predacon mode. So that's really cool. Next figures I got, and these were a dollar a piece. So ODST, one of the uh, Bullfrog or Reach, Halo Reach figures. He's missing his hand, but for a dollar I couldn't pass him up. I'm an ODST collector. Not a bad piece. I think he, yeah, he originally came with a mongoose. But not bad. Set him up there, and then the Star Wars figure I got. Just a basic Power of the Force time period snow trooper. For a dollar. Uh... I got a couple of these action figure collecting magazines. This one for the 90s Kenner Aliens. I kind of started to enjoy those. So those aren't bad. And then this one just for the cover. Well, because it says Star Wars, obviously. And then get the nice do-bag on there. Toy Fair 1997. It's the year after I was born. So I just got both of those for a dollar for both. 50 cents a piece. There were a lot more. I could have gotten a lot more, too. But I'll just stick to the two for now. These next two were also also a dollar a piece. I actually got them from the same dealer as the Preda King. I got two different The Clone Wars Anakins. One, one earlier one from the line, and then one from a later one where he's kind of updated and looking better. So, dollar a piece. One of them is going to go towards a custom, and then the other one is going to uh, just go on the Clone Wars shelf. I don't have a regular... The Clone Wars Anakin. I never really liked those the figures from that particular show. Next three figures. Star Wars I got from a dealer for uh, three for five. So this Commander Cody. I don't have a Commander Cody yet except the holographic one actually. But I got this Cody missing his helmet. But I figure I can find that online somewhere. But it's nice to have a Cody for sure. Stand up. There you go. Alright, the other two I got from the dealer. This uh, Revenge of the Sith, the Moidian Guard. Also missing his helmet and weapon, but... Can't complain for the price. And this next one I got for a custom since I already have her. This uh, Juno Eclipse from the, the Force Unleashed. I'm actually going to turn her into Governor Price from Rebels. So she'll be pretty cool. And then these last four... Originally, they're marked eight dollars a piece, so I was gonna offer fourteen for a pair of them. I walk up and I'm looking at them, and the dealer lady, without me even stating any price, she goes, "I'll give you a good deal, twenty-five for all four. And you know what? That's not bad. That's basically buying three of them and then getting one for free. So, what I got was four of these Order sixty-six two packs. This one I already have. Not only do I already have this one, I actually bought it at the same flea market last year, or the year before. So I got this one, Emperor Palpatine and Commander Thyre. That Thyre figure is really cool. The other one that I kind of just got because it was a good price was 
Yoda and the Kashyyyk Trooper, just the General Camel Trooper. You know, I wasn't really big on those two, but I don't mind them. But now the two that I really wanted because of the clones inside, Darth Vader and Commander Bo. I just really like the way Bo looks. And then the next one. Now, I've never been a big 212 guy, but this one looks really cool. I figure I'll put him on my little, little battalion of 212. Was the ATRT driver and Obi Wan. And so, yeah, for $8, $8 a piece, brought down to 24 for the lot, 25 for the lot. It's not bad. So, that's all I got today. Uh, I think I spent $41 on the whole lot, which is less than I spent in the past three months, and I got way more. So, glory of flea markets. And right on. I'll leave you there. May the force be with you. Hope you enjoyed.